guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Corey, aka Mr. Manage, if you don't know me. Um, and today we are finally gonna get these tune files um, sent out. So, for those of you who have been waiting, I'm getting tuned by Overkill. Shocker. <laughs> um, the thing is, is in the beginning, uh, even I told you guys, if I if it was up to me, I always prefer to get tuned, dyno tuned, right there, make my power, be done with it, um, versus the whole waiting and emailing thing. Over Will is a very busy person, uh, but Will is also the best person, from my understanding and my research, and from word of mouth, he is the best tuner for our cars. Um, being that I go in the naturally aspirated route, I need him because he's the only person who can tune my biggest mod, my last mod to come. So I, <laughs> I have to go his way. Um, and it's not a bad gig, you're just gonna have to wait. Just know that if you're gonna go with Will, you're gonna have to wait, that's just the way it is. Um, so uh, my I do have my auto Kyle here. It actually took like two weeks to get out here, so it was pretty quick. Um, I talked to Will about what I wanted to do. He told me the plan, sent me the, the, the tune, uh, the auto Kyle. Uh, and then we're gonna go from there. So I'm pretty excited if you guys don't know you can go back and watch I made 290 wheel last time that was without my intake manifold spacer that was without my Air intake scoop if that even makes a difference uh, That was without the laminator FX and I think that that's pretty much it for this year uh, uh, Yeah, so I'm hoping that those uh, those three things, two things mainly, the intake spacer and laminator will make a little bit of a difference. And then um, the air intake scoop, you know, if I can get up to a good amount of speed, maybe that'll help in the higher end. Uh, so the goal is to tune it on 93. I already have a flex sensor in, you guys know that. And get it tuned on E85 as well and see if I can make any more power. Personally, I think a little bit was left on the table with my last tune. I think it was a little bit conservative. Uh, so I'm hoping to get definitely over 300 now for sure. And then I'm gonna throw my last mod and then We'll go. So Will's gonna tune me 93, E85, get my flex tune going, put everything spot on, and then we'll go ahead and go with the last mod. Now, I'm pretty excited about this. So if you guys would show me some support and subscribe, again, uh, like the last video I told you, I, I look at my analytics and I know like 90% of my views come from people that aren't subscribed. So please do me the solid and hit that subscribe button below. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Um, as far as the last video goes, I'm sorry about that guys. That was a tough modification. Like. It wasn't even that was tough, it was just tedious and that bolt that I couldn't get on really like ruined my day. <laughs> so sorry if I seemed a little cranky there, but um, I'm over it now obviously, so sorry if that wasn't the best knowledgeable video. Um, just doing as good as I can with the circumstances I'm in. So let's show you what comes in this tune box. All right guys, so this is the box I got from Will. Um, I did open one of these already. So this is gonna go from your OBD2 to the AutoCal when you're uploading and Downloading, I guess. This is your actual AutoCal, the V3. This is a newer one, and this is the cable I opened already. Um, this cable goes from your computer to the AutoCal. Comes with directions, and it actually comes in a huge bag, but I got rid of it. So, essentially, we have to go to our vehicle, and this is in the directions. I'm pretty much just kind of paraphrasing. We gotta go to the vehicle, we have to download our stock tune. So anyone who wants to get tuned by Overkill, no, it's not just a, hey, he sends me a tune and I, that's it, I upload it, we're good to go. I mean, I'm sure that it can work that way, but he wants to know what's on your computer, save your base tune just in case this goes south, you can always upload your base tune. So you're gonna go to your car, which I'm gonna walk you guys through the process. We're going to pull what is off of our car off, which again, I'm gonna read the directions pretty much verbatim. And then we are going to come download it to the computer, email it to Will, and he recommends saving it in, in your own file. Um, that way we, again, we have it for ourselves if we need to re-upload it or something like that. Um, you need to do download EFI Live. Uh, you can go to EFILive.com, which is in the instructions. You can download the app, install it, and then he was saying that for the V3s, it works better with the beta software, which he included on it. I tried to go through USB and I couldn't find it, so I just downloaded it offline. Um, and again, I will walk you guys through all that at the end. And so I'm pretty much gonna walk you guys through getting the tune off onto the AutoCal and shipping it out to Will. And then you guys are gonna see it and you know, right after this, me getting the tune from Will, uploading it into the car, and then my first reactions. That's gonna be this video, but know that I'm not shipping it off today and getting the tune back today. Like it's probably gonna take a while, could take a couple of weeks. Um, but you will see obviously all in one. 
and then we're gonna go from there. I'll fine tune it, upload videos as we go. The goal is to dyno it. Um, I think it's like a hundred bucks to take it back to LMT to dyno it, see what power we make, put my last modification in, have Will send me a tune to upload it, fine tune that, and then dyno it and see what numbers you're gonna get. My goal is to maybe get, I'm not even gonna tell you because then you probably know what I'm doing. Anyways, let's get started with this, guys. I will see you downstairs in the car. All right, guys, we're in Xena, and right away, we're gonna plug in our OBD2. Um, this only plugs in one port at the top. We're gonna plug it in to our OBD2, and this is gonna pop up. This is the EULA, this is the agreement, essentially. You're gonna hit the check mark, and it's gonna go here. So in the directions, it says, take your key, put it in the ignition, and put it to the on slash run position, but do not start the car, that is key. You have to let it sit here for 10 seconds, so that way, um, everything can do its startup and stuff like that, and uh, er, um, the computer module can do what it needs to do. Uh, you need the system to boot up, essentially, and run the uh, startup system checks. So we're gonna put it there, wait 10 seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. At this point, it's 10 seconds. I'm actually gonna make sure this stays on. And then it it says um, in here to use the rightmost button labeled with a check mark. Uh, that's how you move. I don't know if you're gonna see, this is pretty much a green, the X button you could treat as a back. And then right off the bat, it says that um, you need to start by going to the tune tool. So we're gonna go down, over, tune tool. We're gonna hit the check mark. And then after that, you hit F1, which is tuning, check mark. And then followed by F1 read tune. So you hit the check mark. And then it wants you to select a code. So here, I'm gonna leave that there. You have to go into the back of this manual and I have a manual on uh, transmission, so it's a little different. Um, so I don't have to do two tunes, but if you have like a automatic, you're gonna have to read the engine and then you're gonna have to read the transmission. So down there you have like T43 for six speed automatics, T87 for all eight speeds except for 2017. So if you go up here to engines, it says select the right engine uh, computer type for your vehicle when doing your factory read. I am E39, right there at the top. Sorry with the blue light, it says 2012 Camaro 3.6, and then it goes to the Impala stuff. So E39 is what I'm gonna be selecting. So we're gonna go back to the directions, we're gonna go back down here. It says E39, right there, you guys can see it, hopefully, sorry if you can't. I can only get so much focus with this blue light in the car. It says E39, I'm gonna hit the check mark. And it's read tune file, virtual machine started. So it's doing its thing right now. And then it says in here, um, ch -ch -ch, read tune file and then use the computer guide in this manual on the back page to select the red engine transmission, which we already did. Click check mark over those, uh, those selections one at a time and follow the on-screen prompts. Each selection should take about two minutes to read and save. So this is doing its thing. You can see the little check with the little green bar down there. So it's reading and pretty much we're not gonna to touch it, we're gonna let it do its thing and it takes two minutes. So after this is done, you would essentially do the same thing for your transmission if you had an automatic. Again, I do not have an automatic. Thank God, got me a nice hair short shifter right there. Um, so I just gotta do this once. And then after this is done, we can unplug this, go upstairs and I'll show you how to transfer these files onto your computer. So I'll see you guys upstairs. All right guys, so we're upstairs and at the end of that, by the way, after it was done uploading whatever it needed to, or take whatever it needed to take from the car, it simply said switch the ignition off and wait for a uh, countdown to end, which was like 20 seconds and then it was done. Um, so I'm connecting the auto count now, just through the USB port. I opened up EFI Explorer, which is what you're supposed to do, and then it says right here, uh, no device detected. Uh, if device is connected, ensure it is not being used by another application. Um, please connect to flash. Okay, so we're gonna hit okay. Now, in the instructions, it says, that uh, after you open this and it's installed on your computer, if not connected, click the lower right black icon to connect it to AutoCal. Um, let's see if we can expand this window. Right here, there's a little black icon. I'm gonna connect that. Or hit that, sorry. It says a green check mark will, will denote that it's connected. Okay, so we got a green check mark, so that means that it's connected. Well, these two our, our file for everything for our AutoCal and everything up here is all of our computer stuff. On the lower left screen, select read. And this is the one that I read today, um, April 5th, 2021. 
and then it says in two files uh, you've just read will appear. If you have a manual like me, it'll only be one. Copy those and paste or drag and drop them into a folder in the upper left window where you remember where they're saved to make it a new folder for your tunes isn't a bad idea is what he says. All right, guys, so I just created uh, my own, this one right here, Overkill Tunes. Um, so I just created a folder right off the bat. So I'm going to click on that. This is LMT, Late Model Throttle Stock Tune. Open that. And then I'm going to go down here again where it says Read. It's going to pop this. And then he said drag and drop that into here. So I just drag and dropped it. So now it's copying into that folder. And then just like that, I have this tune on my um, on my uh, software itself. So after that's done, it says Reading Factory to, uh, sorry. After that's done, I'm gonna go to the next page and it says a second method, which is an easier method for most will be to set the AutoCAD function like an external disk drive, which we're not gonna do. Um, so that's pretty much that. So after we're done with this, we can close all this out and we will email Will this tune. Um, sorry guys, if you wanted to do the second option, you would go to, or the second method, you go to options, you go to um, file system, and then you go to USB thumb drive, you'd hit this and it would allow you to use this as a thumb drive and you'd be able to pull off the files that way. But I did it this way, so. All right, that's gonna be the end of this video. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. Now we're in limbo. We're just waiting for Overkill to send us the tune. Um, and then the next clip you're going to see is me uploading the tune. So I hope that that helped for the beginning half. And uh, for those of you who are looking forward to getting this, this is something you're going to have to do. Um, and nobody, I feel like, really shows it. They all just say, hey, I got a tune, but they don't go through this with you. So if you need help, here you go. And uh, again, see you in the next shot, and we'll uh, be uploading. Okay, guys, update. It has been five days. I sent my tune to Will Monday, and I got it back Friday in the morning. Um, so not bad timing. So to upload this, I already put it into my folder. Um, but first you need to go down here. I am in EFI Live Explorer, by the way. You're gonna go to read, and then you're gonna delete this guy. He's saying to delete your base tune. Make sure you have it saved on your computer somewhere just in case you wanna go back, but delete it to free space. So we're gonna delete that. This operation cannot be undone. So again, make sure it is saved. Uh, I deleted it. Then you're gonna go up here to where you have your tunes. Now I'm gonna go to the overkill folder. Now these pop up right away. It says EFI live calibration. Um, you have the 87, If it's, it's gonna say OK 87, OK 91, OK 93. That means 87 octane level, 91 octane level or 93. So do not upload whichever one you have in your in your tank. You cannot, use one of these tunes for, you can't use OK93 for 91 octane. Like I'm sure you can, but it's not gonna run how it's meant to run. And then if it has an FF like me on the end of it, that means flex fuel. It's a flex fuel tune because I am flex fueled and that's what we're gonna be dialing in. So I'm gonna be uploading the 93 because that's what I currently have in my tank. And to be sure, I'm gonna go to my stock tune and my stock tune's still there. So I got my overkill base tunes. So you're gonna take, you're gonna come down here before you do anything here. You gotta come down here and he says he specifically to make sure you don't put this in the read. Right now we're in the read folder. You're gonna go to the tune folder. So I'm gonna close this out. So if we went to trays, we're gonna go to tune, right? So if you drop down tune, it has read. So we're just gonna go into the general tune file and we're gonna put this in here. I'm gonna drag and drop it and it's gonna copy into here. So to tell if it's in the tune file, not the read file right away, you see that we have this here. If we go to read, there's nothing in it. There's nothing in this file. So if you go to tune, there's the 93 uh, flex seal. So that's how we know for sure this is in the tune file. Again, he says to be sure it's in the tune file and not the read file because the tune file is like the the bigger, the mother file, whatever you want to call it. So now that that's there, we can unplug our auto count and then the next step will be uploading this tune into the car. Also, keep in mind, I have a manual transmission, so I I, I don't need a transmission tune, so I'm only uploading one of these. If you have an uh, automatic transmission, you'd upload the one for your engine and then you'd also drag down your transmission tune and then it would you would do both of those once you go to write your engine. So we'll do that next. 
All right, guys, so now we're in the car. We got a fresh tank of 93 in, and again, as per the instructions earlier, we're gonna take the keys, put it in the ignition, turn it to the on or run position, but we're not gonna turn the car on. That's important, do not turn the car on. You can give it eight to 10 seconds to do its thing, so that way the computer can run its checks and whatnot. I'm sorry if this view is a little weird. I am on my GoPro, so I'm trying my best to get like a decent view here. So just within talking to you guys, I would say that that's about eight to 10 seconds. So then it says here to go to our tune tool. So we're not running a scan, this time we're uploading. Got the directions right here too. So we're gonna hit the check mark. Um, and it says go to tuning. We're gonna hit the check mark. And it's gonna go, you have retune program calibration. And this says program calibration, so we're gonna go down. Hit the check button. And it says you want to select only the one engine to and upload based on what uh, what you want to run. Obviously, I want to run 93. So if you look down here, it's got 93. So there's read, there's the parent folder. So I would go to 93, I'd hit check. And reflash controller may cause all this other stuff. It's going to tell you, you're going to hit the check. And after that, it says follow the prompts. It says follow the prompts. So it says unlicensed controller, license this controller now. I'm just going to hit the check. Uh, operation cannot be undone. Sure. And it's doing its thing. So I can ask Will for you guys, but I'm pretty sure the whole unlicensed controller thing might be normal. Um, and then I have, again, because it says follow on screen instructions, allow to in the program. Remember to turn ignition fully off when it says ignition off now. So we're going to follow this. Again, it blinked at me. Flash to and file successful completed successfully so we're gonna hit the X and it says switch off the ignition and wait for countdown to complete so we're gonna switch it off I'm gonna take this out because it says fully off this is wait for the appropriate time to pass before continuing it is very important to not interrupt the writing process Um, because you may leave your vehicle inoperable. So it's back where it was before. So my guess is it's done. Uh, ensure good connections before you begin. Obviously don't mess with things in your car. Uh, if you feel like your battery's gonna die or you have like a shitty battery, don't do this because if your battery dies in the middle of the writing process, it could be bad. I'm gonna unplug this and then I am going to turn on the car. And um, also, so my car started, that's a good sign. Make sure that your car is warm at least. I, I would have been driving my car, so it's at operating temperature. So when I, when I send them a scan, it's not like, well, the engine just like got started and it's cool, because obviously it's gonna run maybe a little different. So car's at operating temperature. So the next video you guys are gonna see is gonna be me doing a driving scan, which is next in the directions. But again, I'm gonna separate it. So I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Um, like and subscribe uh, to the channel, or like the video, subscribe to the channel, please. Uh, we're growing at a rapid pace, and I really appreciate all the support. I can't say that enough, guys. Um, you know, I wouldn't be here without you guys. Like, you guys are my motivation to keep going with future builds and whatnot. So I really appreciate everyone out there. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below, and um, I will leave the, the tune link in the description. And as usual, just guy living life. I will see you guys for the next video. Bye. All right, guys, actually, before we end this video, um, I just wanted to show you, I'm just going to do it with this video how to, to show you how to start um, a driving scan to send to Will. Um, because the next video, I'm just going to give you strictly a review so it can be a little more in depth. Um, so you would go to scan tool up here, you'd hit the check mark. You go down to data logging and you hit that. Now in the directions, it says that the car can be on. I found that when the vehicle's on and you try doing this, a little cloud pops up and it takes forever. Like it doesn't pop up. So I shut off the car and then it would pop up. So... I feel like you hit these buttons before you start the car. You have record data and display data. So if you hit display data, all it'll do is show you what the car essentially is is like running, like the RPMs and stuff like that. If you record data, it's gonna be recording. Now Will wants you to send five to 10 minute scans. He doesn't want anything shorter than five minutes or anything like really longer than 10 minutes. And you wanna get like a mixed range. You wanna get some traffic in there and then some wide open pools the best you can, as safe as you can. Obviously if you have back roads like in the country, that's perfect because you're not gonna kill anybody or 
you know, you have less of a chance of hurting yourself. I'm not saying that you guys should do that. You should probably go to a professional track or something like that where no one can be uh, injured or anything like that. And it's as safe as possible to get your driving scans. That being said, you hit recording data, you hit the check, this will pop up and then you could start the vehicle. And then it'll give you your RPMs. And this will tell you everything as well. So this is just recording. You see up here, it says it's recording. Um, but in the other, if you do it the other way, uh, where it says just display data, it'll show you all this without recording. So if you have an E85 kit from Will, um, you're able to the test that here. If you see, it says E85R. Um, so if your kit is actually working, it will you'll see it here. And it, he said that it should read between four to ten percent, even if you have like unleaded gas, because unleaded gas still can almost contains ten percent of. Um, ethanol in it so you see how it's moving the e85r it's like 8.6 so once we tune it and we go to you know we're done with this and we go to e85 i will show you guys this screen again and e85 should be you know in the 60 ish range or closer to obviously e85 85 percent so this is what it'll look like when you take a driving scan and then when you're done you simply hit the x and then once you hit the x it'll say data logging saved it'll tell you the number you hit x and then you're done um and then when you go to upload this, I've showed you guys how to upload it. So when you go to upload it, the only difference is instead of hitting read uh, or tune, I believe you hit, you can either go back to EFI Explorer or the USB method, whichever you want. And then you would go to the scan folder um, and then you'd save this file. So you'll see the, this data log under the scan file versus the read or the tune. Remember the read is if you're taking a read, you hit that, it'll show you what the engine, the tune that the engine currently has. If you go to the uh, tune it that's like the parent folder of read and that's where like you can take wills tunes put them in there and then upload them to your car and then you would go to the scan folder to see your data logs and then you save a copy of that with your scans in your own folder and then send a copy to will so sorry that that uh, little extra piece i had to add on there but i just want to make sure that we're clear on how to use this so remember scan tool data logging record data or if you're just driving and you have e85 and you want to make sure your sensor's working or you want to see if you got some junk ass e85 that's not really e85 you can hit display data and it'll tell you and again for me it worked when the vehicle is off and then you start it and it'll start recording data versus when the vehicle's already on and you try to do it it didn't load for me so just a side note sorry guys bye Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright